Hi, my name's Alex Hutchinson, Creative Director of Assassin's Creed 3, and I'm excited to show you some of our brand new city gameplay. So there are two huge new city locations in Assassin's Creed 3, one being New York and this particular city being Boston. Both were recreated at around one to three scale based on historic maps we discovered uh, from the 18th century. So lots of key landmarks from the period are still there, but the overall vibe of the city, the overall feel of the buildings around those landmarks is completely fresh. Lots of new small features here. You see a combo of different, you know, old school assassins moves, not just uh, uh, hiding in hay bales, but assassinating from them uh, and doing the whole thing in a moving cart. My husband's over this way. We've also tried very hard to integrate side missions into the narrative, into the player's experience throughout the city. So as you move through Boston or New York or even the frontier, you'll see different characters that uh, offer you the opportunity to help. Hey, Lex Vittle, why don't you take yourself back across the pond? We've integrated stealth positioning into the game so you can sort of take cover against most walls or even trees. And then, of course, you can assassinate from those positions just to help with general player acting and, and the sensation of being integrated in the world. You can also see here new moves such as the stalking zone, which are basically mobile hide spots that allow you to stay hidden. What did you think would happen? You resist the captain and you get the spot. You may have seen this particular new tool before. Uh, it's the rope dart. Uh, but what we want to show you now is how you can use it in a stealth scenario. So here you can hang an enemy from a tree, lure his compatriots over, which gives you the opportunity to free this gentleman here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, you! Stay right there! We work very hard on the crowd uh, in the game to make it more specific. They respond to weather, they respond to uh, uh, other crowd members around them. As much as possible, we want them to, to, to make the world feel alive and believable. All anybody wants these days. Chickens, animals as part of the crowd in the city is also a new feature. So Connor can also blend between any two uh, characters in the world, such as these stationary guys, uh, uh, and mimic their actions, allowing him to hide within any crowd. And of course, even from this position, you can assassinate your enemies. We rebuilt the combat from the ground up. Connor is a dual wielding specialist, so all of his base combat uh, is using two weapons at the same time. Um, we work very hard on the flow of combat, so your goal as a player is basically to continue your kill chain by using appropriate moves. We've also built a bunch of new archetypes for the enemies with unique behaviors, uh, which you need to change your strategy in order to defeat cleanly and quickly. Uh, and we've also redesigned the health system. So now, uh, as long as you're in combat, health will not regenerate. There are no uh, magical health potions or other uh, assists. Uh, you need to complete your combat before you can uh, regain your health. City navigation has seen a big facelift for Assassin's Creed 3, whether it's uh, new objects such as these monkey bars, the ability to run on moving surfaces, as you saw earlier, uh, some new scrambling moves uh, to go up angled surfaces, uh, and this one of our favorites, the new pass-through, where you can cut through uh, interiors to lose your pursuers. Although we had a rule when we started development that there would be no retreads, no mechanics we'd built uh, in this game just because they'd been in the franchise before, we do like the notion that the assassin isn't always acting alone. So throughout the course of the game, you can acquire people to help you, uh, and we build a whole range of new behaviors that you can use to, your, uh, uh, to better suit your assassinations. This one is calling in your buddies uh, who have disguised themselves as red coats, which can allow you to pass through different choke points within the cities undetected. Well done, soldier. The captain will be very pleased. Connor's mixed heritage, he's half Native American, half European, uh, is not just a cool story uh, device in the game, but it also gives us the opportunity to give the player some new tools. Uh, you saw the tomahawk, here we'll show you the bow. Killing that guy will lure his, his buddies away from the boat and allow you to sneak on board. Along the way, you can pick up a musket, you can do it on the move, some other uh, brand new uh, assassination move. 
And these are also contextual. So people near the edges of objects can be, be booted into the ocean. So we really hope you've enjoyed this first glimpse at some of the new city gameplay in Boston, and we look forward to showing you more in the coming weeks.